on Monday, October 11th, while still in an intensive meditation retreat for the world. Our most beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai put some time aside to speak with Supreme Master Television team members. During the call, Master kindly answered the team's questions and shared her wisdom regarding current developments of concern in the United States government. The new Texas law is effectively a ban on almost all abortions in the state, and that's what the people behind it intended. We're estimating that between 100 and 150 preborn children and their mothers are being spared from abortion every day in Texas while this law is in effect. They've seen a 70% drop in abortion procedures at clinics across the state compared to last year. After the U.S. appeal court allowed the Texas anti-abortion law to continue, Biden vowed it to fight for women's constitutional rights to have abortion and is trying to pass a bill allowing abortions up to the day of birth. How can the American people fight him and promote anti-abortion laws instead? Yeah, the American people have to wake up and fight for it. Yes. Yes. Actually, it's not constitutional to have abortions. The Constitution would never have advised the citizens of the United States of America to kill. Yes, yes that's, that's right. Especially to kill their own people. Yes, yes. yes. You know, this law is, is bad, isn't it? Yes, yes it's very right. bad. Yes. Even allow up to the day of the birth. Oh, this is terrible. You're killing our right baby. Yes, yes, Master. When you uh, believe it's a human being, all abortion is wrong. Abortion is too, too good a word for it. It is child destruction. Most people that I speak to now who haven't dealt with it um, don't realise that you're presented with a little baby the same as you would be full term, just that they're smaller. Hello again. Natalie mourns the girl she never held. Four years on, the pain hasn't receded. At times, the hurt so great, she even thought of ending her own life. Yeah, I really didn't want to leave the pain anymore, so... There was um, probably times of thinking that um, I would have rather go and be with her. A lawyer from Mississippi told us off camera that the state's position is that the Supreme Court got Roe versus Wade egregiously wrong and that there's no fundamental right to abortion in the text of the Constitution. The state tells the justices in court documents that long-standing precedent has damaged the democratic process, poisoned our national discourse, and plagued the law. Mississippi also argues that a lot has changed since the 1973 decision. Adoption is accessible and on a wide scale. Women attain both professional success and a rich family life. Contraceptives are more available and effective. And scientific advances show that an unborn child has taken on the human form and features months before viability. The state's attorneys argue states should be able to act on those developments. Yeah, the American people have to stand up for it. They have to wake up, wake up, wake up, get together and write something in protest against that because it's not constitutional. Yes, yes that's, that's right. right. You know, Biden, he just uses the Constitution <laughs> for anything he wants, including killing babies. <sighs> it's up to the Americans. Yes. They have to pray to God and they have to find their strength. They have to find their voice to protest it. Yes, right. right. Uh, talking about constitutional rights, the babies are Americans. Yes. They are born in America, they are born from American parents. Yes. So they are Americans. The Americans have the constitutional law to be protected, supported, and nourished. Yes, yes, yes Master. Yeah, so to kill babies is not constitutional. Right, understand. Yes. This is just devil's talk and war to whomever is within that circle of influence by the dark force they should wake up they should pray hard to get out of that otherwise they doing the great sin to themselves whoever supports this abominable abortion law we all go to hell i am telling you all truthfully yes yes, yes master thank you master yeah uh, any americans are protected by the Constitution. 
means they are American citizens. They have all the right to live in safety and freedom, not to be killed. They are innocent. They're not even enemies. They're yes. not making war with Biden or his administration. They're just babies. Yes. yes. One month old, two month old babies inside the womb or outside the womb. They are babies. And they even want to spend a lot, a lot, a lot of money to to pay for that. Tax people money to pay for the abortions and even to pay for that abroad as well. Yes, yes Master. Oh, this is terrible. It's terrible. It's not morally fit, not even lawfully, that people should go to a party. It's reported that every Christmas there are more pregnancies, you know, unwanted ones. Oh, yeah, they just go party together and get drunk and then do whatever together and then get pregnant. And then some people keep it, some people abort. That is not right. This is not the baby's fault. No. Morally speaking, constitutionally speaking, lawfully speaking, it's all corrupt. It's all bad. It's all wrong. Yes, exactly. It's all against God as well, spiritually. Yes, yes master. master. This guy is evil. And his administration, the closer ones, for example, Harris and Pelosi, they are the same. They abuse the Constitution. They abuse their power to kill your own people. <sighs> they are demons, all these people, or possessed by demons, whoever decided this, or designed this, or supported it, or stamped it to sign it into law. They are all evil. Yes. yes. They will all go back to hell <sighs> and be locked in there forever. They would never be able to see the sun again. That's what I'm telling you, their fate. All right, what else? Tonight, what could be a new short-term solution to the looming fiscal disaster? Top Republican Mitch McConnell offering Democrats a deal to allow the government to extend its ability to borrow money to pay its bills for another two months. On this vote, the yeas are 219, the nays are 206. The Democratic-controlled U.S. House of Representatives gave final approval by a vote of 219 to 206 on Tuesday to a Senate-passed bill temporarily raising the government's borrowing limit to $28.9 trillion, putting off the risk of a historic default until early December. Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell was initially adamant against raising the U.S. debt ceiling, mm -hmm. but then helped Democrats pass a temporary raising of it until December 2021. Mm -hmm. Then he wrote a letter to Biden stating he won't help raise the debt ceiling anymore mm -hmm. and says it's the Democrats' job to pass it without Republicans' help. Mm -hmm. Is he caving on the issue or is he playing some political game? Mm -hmm. Ah, this guy is always the same. He's always the same. He say no and then he will say yes. Play hard to get. Yes. yes. To make himself more powerful, more like a decision maker. Yes, Master. Originally, he, he could not uh, help the whole thing. After he said adamantly that he, he will not, because, because, because. And then later he came in because maybe somebody bribed him. Oh, wow. Either uh, financially or verbally or promising something. Yeah. Oh, maybe. Political anyway. Yes, master. He doesn't care about the ceiling or not ceiling. He couldn't even tell the ceiling from the floor. <laughs> he doesn't care. guy I told you he's ping pong all the time and he flip flops all the time I told you before yes, yes master. master and he plays the same game again always play hard to get and then later gives okay so people will feel more awe you know respect or give in to him got it yeah 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 just a game the reason he say he, he wrote a letter to, to Biden is because some of the democrats uh, slammed him oh yeah did not praise him for helping uh, halfway. Yeah. yeah, he helped the Democrats. They were stuck. Even their own Democrat members 
did not vote for the ceiling, yeah? Yes. And the uh, $3.5 trillion dollar bill. Until at the end, when they're already waiting in deep water, and then, uh, of course, uh, McConnell came in for the rescue, like usual, yeah? Yes. yes. Yeah, until finally, when McConnell already said that uh, they can uh, vote for it, like a temporary solution, only until December, not like a final. You understand? Understand. Then they voted for that, It's like a compromise. Yes. Yeah. In the beginning, he beat them. And then later he gives them the bomb. Yes. It's the same all the time. I have never been interested in all this mess. It's just for the sake of the lives of others, yeah? Yes, I understand. Especially for the Americans and, and the babies, yeah? That I, I cannot just turn the blind eye on. Yes, yes. My yes, heart yes. just pains so much that I have to scream out like this. <sighs> Otherwise, I mostly never interfere in anything. Yes. Yes. In, in, I never talk about this kind of politics stuff, yeah? Unless it concerns something greater than that. Uh, what is the debt ceiling all for, anyway? If you know? Well, it's the limit set by Congress on how much money the U.S. government is allowed to borrow to pay its debts. Uh, the government spends more than it earns in taxes, so every so often, Congress raises the debt ceiling so that the government can borrow enough to cover everything. What for they want so much? The money goes to paying the American public, like soldier salaries, social security pensions, uh -huh. uh, medical aid, child tax credits, and veterans benefits. And also to pay for the government's past spending decisions. Uh, okay. uh, but at the same time, they're also planning on future spending, like the two new bills. Yeah. One of the things they have is for climate change infrastructure, things that would deal with flooding due to climate change, for example. And what else? And they have social programs for pre-kindergarten, uh, okay. for housing. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, I got it. It's all talk. How can any infrastructure prevent the flood? You build a dike all over the country, everywhere? Huh? Because uh, God doesn't tell you where he's going to flood next. That's right. It is all karma. All the meat-eating diet. I told you, if people eat vegan, there's no need to spend any penny. Yes. yes. No matter how many dikes, how many dams you build, the flood never can be stopped. If we don't stop our violent lifestyle, like killing animals, killing all kind of things to eat, and killing babies as well, up to the birth date. My God, this is evil to the ultimate. Okay? Yes, Master. Yes. And social, what did you say again? Uh, social programs. Ah, for pre-kindergarten? Yes. Oh, there will be no more babies left to go to kindergarten if they kill all these babies. And what else they want to say? Uh, for housing. Housing. <laughs> How can people afford housing when they could not even have food to eat? Mm, yes. Hmm? There are food shortages and food prices are sky high. It's all useless, all nonsense, all excuses to boast, to, to play big. Yes. Indiana Congressman Jim Banks, Republican Study Committee Chairman, went after the Democrats' bill as mind-blowingly corrupt. He listed 42 ways the committee says the measure will wreck the nation. When you dig into it, you find things like uh, billions of dollars to fix what they call racist roads and bridges, which is crazy. I don't even know what that means. Creating a climate police department or a militia to go out and enforce Green New Deal policies at the federal level. Uh, not, not just giving uh, free college education to illegal immigrants, but giving them child tax credits as well to those who come here illegally. This bill will shut down your daycare because because daycares will now have to hire college educated employees. So you probably won't be able to afford the daycare that you go to or it will have to shut down altogether. And then on top of that, 700,000 first time fines for your employer if they don't uh, abide by the Biden vaccination mandates. So each and every one of these reasons alone uh, are reasons to vote against it. But overall, it's, it's just a dangerous bill. That's why even the Democrats did not vote for this bill. Yes. And it's because they use money for that this uh, and warring with their own people. Yes, yes. Huh? Killing babies who cannot even defend themselves. Exactly, Master. So if the bill is really good for social benefit, then they would have voted for it, even before the bill was born. 
for me, any bill can pass if it's truly helpful to the social system to help the citizens, to help the poor, the needy, the homeless, yes. and the students who are poor, who cannot afford university. For me, any bill that benefits all these people can pass, okay? Yes, ma'am. And pass quickly. It's just that they use it for harmful things, and for things that are not really logical. Yes, ma'am. Maybe they should still pass the bill, except they have to cut out the one for abortion, cut out anything for war. Yes, yes, master. And use that to promote vegan. Mm, yes. Oh, yes, yes, that's a good yes, idea. Yes, master. And then it will be all peaceful and the weather will be beneficial again. Okay? Yes, 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 yes master. master. If we do not abide, you know, by the law of God, and be compassionate, benevolent, and take care of each other on this planet, including protecting humans and animals, then we can never build anything against God's power. If you go on killing yes. creation, humans, babies in the womb or up to the day of birth, and killing animals in billions like that per week even, then no matter what we build, no matter how we reinforce with steel, God power can take it all away. We just have to move away from violence in any case, in any type, in any kind, and return to our original loving nature. Only then we can keep everything that God granted us and bless us with. With Biden being a bad U.S. president, if he was removed before his term is done, uh, the next in succession for the presidency is Vice President Harris, and then followed by House Majority Leader Pelosi. Would Harris or Pelosi be better than Biden as a president? No, no, absolutely not. They are the same. They're the same game. They're the same pack. Yes, I understand. <sighs> Maybe even worse. Wow. wow. All three of them should go, at least three. There are a couple more within the Democrats who are uh, damaging the Democrats' reputation, but I cannot name them right now. Yes, yes, yes I, I have to have evidence. I cannot just... But you can see they didn't do anything good up to now. Yes, yes. yes. Harris, before, as he supported, barely now these uh, arsonists, Luther, who used the protest excuse to, to burn people's houses and burn people's businesses and looting people's property and all that. She helped bail them all out. Yes, that's right. But they got caught again. Anyway, she should have let the court decide it. Yes, yes master. master. Not just using her powers to bail out the people who are not yet in the clear picture whether or not they're innocent. Okay. Yes, master. Yeah. Because that's concerning the safety of many other citizens, you see? Yes, Master. And then Pelosi, all of them are supporting these abortions. None of them are good. All of them should be gone yesterday already. And uh, you asked me about Pelosi, whether or not she could be a better president, successor than Biden. No, no. She's the same. They all need together. And even the Pope received her. For what reason? Uh, what for Pelosi want to see the, the Pope? Huh? You tell me. She's for abortion. It's all over on the news. And the Pope is supposed to be against abortion. So why, what does she want to seek from him? Huh? Consolidation for her power, position, and the Pope receive her so that he's also consolidated in his uh, position? Huh? My goodness. Don't we have any more ethics, morals anywhere at all? beginning even from the biggest church in the world. Dear God, please, holy God, please save us from all this evil. They're working together to kill your children, your unborn children even. Holy God, bless you, my Lord. Bless you. It must be terrible, painful for you. Bless you. If the Americans are going to get better, Trump will be the best. Yes, 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 we agree. Lawmakers in New York cheered with delight upon the passage of legislation 
that would allow a baby to be ripped from the mother's womb moments from birth. These are living, feeling, beautiful babies who will never get the chance to share their love and their dreams with the world. Let us work together to build a culture that cherishes innocent life. And let us reaffirm a fundamental truth. All children, born and unborn, are made in the holy image of God. I said to you many times, Yes. At least he will not kill your babies, huh? Yes, Master. Yeah. He will not use the tax money just to go out and bomb other people. No. Okay. Um, earlier, Master talked about the, the vegan in the budget as well. Uh -huh. So, can the world ever unite to pass a vegan law? Uh huh. Can, they can. All the leaders just have to sit together and sign it. Meat ban, fish ban, all animal products ban. Very simple. They can do it. All the money that you can save from war, you can use it to educate people, to put it on billboards, to put it on television, to pay for newspapers, to print all that, to educate people, and give young children free vegan meals every day, and teach them why. Then the next generation will be pure vegan. Yes. Uh, yes. Then our world will be a paradise. Uh, yes. Yeah. Wonderful. Wonderful. It's easy. Yeah, it's doable. Yes, it is. It Simple. Is. Should be vegan, and then our world will change. Climate will change. Everything will be so beautiful, so smooth, and so comfortable for all the humans and animals on this planet. Things will be in abundance. Water will be pure. Air will be clean. You see, these are the most important things. They don't take care. They just bicker with each other, just for power, short-lived power. Or why don't they just spend time to repent, to think of God, to learn something more virtuous and moral and God-like, so that they can prepare for their long journey to heaven. Or maybe they choose hell. All right, love, I just want to thank you. For everything, okay, huh? All of you. Well, thank you, thank you, Master. Yeah, it's not, not everyone can hold on like that, okay, huh? No, yeah. thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Uh, uh, you gotta be tough. There are temptations. There are, it's testing all the time. You're testing me all the time. <laughs> 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 testing my patience. Uh -oh. <laughs> testing my, my, uh, I would say, intelligence. Yeah, all kind of resolutions and I have to think of. Okay, just joking. It's all right, it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> anyway, thank you all of you. Really, I appreciate it very much. I thank you for, you know, for eating while you're working or just eating quickly and have to run back to the office or eating only a half and, <laughs> and then have to <laughs> dig yourself into the work. <laughs> Not digging the wall, but digging into <laughs> your computer. <laughs> Thank you, thank How you. How do you know that, Master? <laughs> Master knows everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, just sometimes eating only halfway and then urgent, you know? Yes. 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 Urgent times so or you have to go to your computer and dig into the computer instead of digging into your <laughs> vegetable. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you even want to take a shower, but have to wait, you know, yeah. yes. and have to bear your your smell. <laughs> <laughs> I know everything. What do you think? Ah, huh? I do the same, no? <laughs> <laughs> like master, like disciples. <laughs> That's why I know. Okay. Yes, and, and there's no secret, no mystery about it. <laughs> I can never thank you enough. So just now and then, okay, huh? Now and then, make sure you know that uh, that I thank oh, you. Oh. It's much appreciated. Thank, <laughs> thank you, Master. thank you, Master, for bearing it all. I thank you for for your dedication. You try your best, okay? But your best is not always my best. Not always. Yes, yes, yes. Master. It's good already. Very good. Very good. Okay. God bless you. God bless you. God bless, Master, too. Thank you very much, truly, from my heart. Our deep gratitude to beloved Master for your unconditional love and assistance for the world. We pray that your wholehearted, determined efforts and sacrifices will turn humans, and primarily all government leaders, toward more compassionate and conscientious living. 
as our single way out of a troubled future. May those with awakened hearts be the beacon of light for others and thus help to establish a peaceful planet where all lives, human and animal, are valued. Wish and caring master to be always well and serene, supported by all benevolent goddesses. To find out why even the freest societies should never allow satanic practices, plus other insights from Supreme Master Ching Hai, please tune in to Between Master and Disciples on Saturday, October 30th, for the full broadcast of this conference.